Hello, World of Tank Blitzers, it's Littlefinger here. I've got a battle here, it's a ratings battle in the Skoda T27 that could have been a did I win or did I lose, but you know what, I want to put this on channel so that I can talk about ratings. Now, ratings is something I really, really want to get behind. I like the idea of having a skills-based matchmaking game. Um, you know everything that I do on channel. For those of you that have watched any of my videos, I try to focus on the close, the fun battles that we have and try to dismiss or hide the fact that there are so many lopsided battles. But sometimes, you know, I got to get up on my soapbox and, and complain or rage or whatever you want to call it. But it is evident that Wargaming wants ratings battles to succeed. Um, they're giving away additional credit coefficients. You can make more credits playing ratings. They're giving the tournament coins for winning battles in ratings so that you can buy even tanks um, with your wins. And, you know, they work with YouTubers to stream ratings battles so that they can give away tanks to, to their subscribers. Um, so there's definitely a, a huge effort on Wargaming's part but there are some changes that I think have to happen to make this more successful. First, let's talk about calibration. Every month you get reset, unless we're in the season, um, which is a couple months. But if you're going to have skills-based matchmaking, you want everybody to be about the same skill level. Well, when you go into a battle, even at the end of the month, and you've got two or three guys on your team that haven't been rated, um, how can skills-based matchmaking work? Um, there is so much data that Wargaming keeps on our games, our gameplay, the tanks that we play, how many battles we play, all of that stuff that I don't understand why that can't be used as your monthly rating. So take however you did the previous month in pub games and use that as your ratings. No need to recalibrate. That way everyone starts out about where they've played for the past month. The other issue that I have with ratings is the point system. There needs to be a better explanation on how the point systems work. Because what I get most frustrated at, I'll go into battle as being the bottom tier. Um, I will be on a team that's just a lopsided loss. I'll be top damage and I'll have lost more points than somebody who did less damage on my team because they had a higher rating than me. I think, you know, the consequence of losing with a higher rating should be that you lose more points, um, not the other way around. So that to me is really frustrating. I think there needs to be a better explanation on how the point system works. All right, and finally, as if that's not enough, why are we limiting the time frame for which we can play ratings battles? If you want more people to play, um, make it available at more times. Here's my example. I was playing the other night, and all of a sudden, I couldn't play ratings anymore. It was 11 o'clock p.m. Eastern time, okay? So you say, okay, it makes sense. Maybe that's getting late enough to cut off ratings. Well, you have to keep in mind that that is 8 p.m. in California on the west coast of the United States where I would imagine there is a huge huge player base his royal fatness um, you know so how if you're working you come home you make dinner spend time with your family you want to unwind relax play some games in the evening and at 8 o'clock you can't even play ratings it makes absolutely no sense. I think the time limit should be taken off. I think recalibrating every month is just a complete waste of time and basically ruins the fact that this is supposed to be a skills-based matchmaking MM. Um, so, you know, that's that's my two cents, guys. Um, wondering what you think about it. You know, I really do want this to work, and, and I think these are some fairly easily implemented changes that Blitz could make, and I, I, I just want the message to get out. 
uh, I really would like those in the community that have a more of a relationship with um, Blitz uh, and their development crew to put those forward. Um, as you can see here, getting back to the game, it's now a two on one. Um, you know, I, you, you can see here, one of the things that I've been talking about lately is, you know, separating yourself from the the enemy when you're getting low on hit points uh, when your team's folding because you know if you're a competent player um, you can do stuff like this and and make the game more competitive um, yep yeah, the tiger is just about full health here I think I got a couple shots on him maybe just one shot on him early in the game and I was really hoping that our team would just push into the tiger 2 and the the SU that was over there um, but instead, they that we got kind of caught in a crossfire, um, and I and I bled just a few too many hit points there. But I've really enjoyed this tank. I picked it up basically for free for part of the Black Friday event, um, and, it, and it's just been a, a super fun tank to play. And I'm sorry for the lag. I, you know, a couple updates ago. It seemed like I had the same issue where, you know, where I was aiming where the tank was just didn't line up when I'm doing the replay. I mean, that's not the way I'm seeing it in the game. Um, but it has something to do with the, the way the replays work. Uh, they fixed it in the next update, but it seems to be back. Um, so we've got the Tiger 2 down now almost to a full clip here. Um, and uh, this might have been a little bit of a problem on my part I, you know I was thinking trying to COD him and there's that shot that bounces I probably could have got two shots into the lower plate there um, with APCR but that Tiger 2 with all of that armor is a tough tank frontally and uh, you know so here we do 4200 damage we do gain 18 points which is another thing that I do like about ratings um, you know you shouldn't be penalized for for being on a bad team um, but here's an example here All right so this guy had more um, ratings points to lose he did more damage but he didn't have as many kills so I can understand that um, this guy had more kills yeah, I mean, I, I can see these ones. There's nothing that really stands out here. Um, we put these in order. Lost 40, lost 18, but he had three kills. And I know kills um, do go a long way in the ratings calculation for the number of points that you get. But, you know, here we are the next to last day of the month almost, and we've got someone without a ratings battle um, number. Got gained 25, 35. 20 um, did a little less damage so yeah it's hard to say on, on this one I don't see anything that completely stands out as being uh, over the top wrong as far as the points go but again you know there's a few simple things that could be implemented very easily uh, to make this all a little bit more enjoyable I think so with that guys please leave me your comment um, if you've enjoyed the video please hit that subscribe button and of course have fun out there stay safe get educated not fingered little finger out